Get back away from me. Get back away from me. Now go. Get off of me. Step back because I feel your presence and I feel you breathing. <coughs> I feel you breathing on me. I feel you breathing off of me. I feel you breathing around me. I feel it around me. I feel it like a cloud of heat, of thought, of soft-spoken understanding that doesn't understand a thing, that pretends to know what you don't know, which you can't know, which you'll never know, which you only know is something that you don't know. How can I say these things? I'm serious. How can I say these things? They don't even make any sense. I don't understand a word of what I'm saying half the time, which is interesting, putting it on video and watching it. Because how can you not understand it when you watch it happen? That's the brain. That's the way the brain works. The brain understands what happens. It has no choice but to understand what happens. It has no choice but to believe that what's happening is reality. And so it is. It becomes the norm. It becomes normalized. We are normalized by what we experience. Normalization is a process that occurs to the common man, to the individual, to the ego. And then the ego understands something wonderful, something painful, something new. It's always something new. Never something old. Always something old. Never something. Always everything. How can we be a dog and a cat and a man and a fish and a rat and a bird and a log cabin in the woods all at the same time? I don't know. I do know. We know everything. I know why. Because it is. Because that's the way it has to be. Because there's no other way than what it is. And so we continue on this journey, understanding everything we see, whether we realize it or not, speaking about it when we can. We can. We can take a dog by the leash, smack it, make ourselves feel better. We don't really feel better when we smack anything. We just smack it. We just cause pain to that dog. Buddy, the dog, I smacked it. To walk in the park is to understand yourself because there's trees and grass and a big cement parking lot and a jungle gym and sand in your shoes and sand in your brother's face. It's unnatural. We can stand up and do something, so we do. It won't happen again. You just let it happen. And then you let it not happen again. And from that we understand ourselves a little better. From that we grow and we change. And from that the human race evolves into something new. Why is it always about something new? Because that's all there is, is something new. It's a constant flow of change and thought and patterns and crystallization. So I see now the Christian speaks. We will always be one. The grass is green because we say it's green. The sky is the earth. The earth's perception of what it doesn't understand. So we call it the sky and we call it blue. And we call the clouds white and in the way and cotton, fresh cotton. You can do anything with it. You can blot out the sun, soak up the rays, rain them down on us, turn light into water. Clouds are amazing. Clouds are a creation in our mind. The clouds are in our mind. We're clouded. And that's why the earth is clouded, because we are the earth. We are everything that's happening. We're a tunnel through the mountain that seemed to be in the way. Seem is a dangerous word. It just seemed to be in the way, because I was told that mountain is in the way, but now there's a tunnel through it, and we are the tunnel through it. And the lights light up the tunnel, because we chose them to light up the tunnel, because we evolve in the light. 
we evolve in the light. We will always evolve in the light. People can think anything they want about me, about what I'm doing and what I'm saying and what I am. They can say anything and they will. And that's okay because that is human. We only understand what we choose to understand and the rocks that fall are falling because we bring them down on ourselves. There's no question. There's only understanding. There's only creation of what is. And there are no questions except for the question that says, what are you? Even that's a little bit of a stretch because there are no questions. What are you? You are a camera. You are an autonomous experience. You are an idea of self. You are me. We are you. The blue bird in the sky flies. It sings. The group travels and one peels off to show that it's different than the rest. And that's evolution. That's the change. The group seems to be. And so it is. These thoughts can go on and on and on, and they will go on, and they do. We are white, although we're not white. These words have no meaning. <laughs>